Hi, Stitchy Friends. Hi, Stitchy Friends. I'm Sarah. And I'm Jen. <laughs> and we're the Stitchy Friends. And this is our third time doing this intro. <laughs> our third take. <laughs> uh, today is August 8th, and this is floss tube number thir 37. So, um, yeah, welcome back if you are a returning viewer. Welcome if you're new here. This is our little channel where we talk about cross stitch. And um, if you haven't had a chance to do so yet, make sure you hit uh, the like and the subscribe buttons down below. And thank you so much to everybody who has already subscribed because we are at 6,000 subscribers. I know. That's really, that's awesome. I know. That's I just really fun. It blows my mind. It, so it does. thank you so much to it everybody does. who subscribes. It yes. means a lot to us for sure. It does. Definitely. All right, girl. Let's start with the personal update. Yeah. What are you up to? Uh, well, um, since we last filmed, my life hasn't been very exciting. I've been playing nurse again at home. I feel like um, you've been doing that all summer long. Well, I have. <laughs> <laughs> this has been the summer of surgeries. Yeah. Uh, so my son just had his wisdom teeth taken out. Um, he's a little young um, because he's 15. Yeah. Uh, but the way they were, there's like this main nerve here. And he just got his braces off and they were going to mess up his mouth. So um, he just got his wisdom teeth out and he is having a hard time. So we just actually went back today and he has one dry socket. Oh. I know I had dry sockets when I had mine out and it was very painful. I'm sure. So, um, so the dentist or the oral surgeon packs some stuff in there and we have to go every day. Um, oh gosh. Yeah. I guess they take it out and then they put it back in and um, so that's going on and that's really all I've been doing. <laughs> Exciting I don't know stuff. much. The yeah. life of a mom, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. But you have a lot going on. I've been busy. Well, um, back to school. I have to I go know. back on Thursday. That's, um, the first official day for teachers. And, um, but I did spend a day in my classroom last week. My husband helped me bring all my stuff in oh, and set up my desk. All your new books. I brought all the new books. I and know. so then I went in yesterday and I literally spent the whole day just processing all the new books, which, by the way, uh, thank you so much to everybody who purchased from my wish list. Uh, again, mind blown. I, I got so to amazing. see the books that people sent and just everyone is so generous. You got I, yeah, you, And they're beautiful blowing. books. Her oh children gosh. in her classroom are incredibly I lucky. Because you really I can't do a lot for the them. books and, and you have to get all those on your own. So it's super nice. That you yeah, so it's really it. helpful to have all those new books because I have books in my classroom library that I've had the whole time I've been teaching. Like they're old, they're getting worn out and all the good ones are really worn out. Yeah, so yeah. it's so yeah. nice to have some new books and it takes me a little while to process them. I have to, I put a label on the back of them all that says, um, uh, from the classroom library of Mrs. Lehman and it says, oh. read it, love it, return it. <laughs> oh, that's cute. <laughs> yeah, that way if it gets lost somewhere in the school building people know where to return it right. or in somebody's house um I put a I make labels and I put little library cards in the back of them um and so that way kids can check them out I have a whole little system yeah. to help um keep track of where the books are I want the kids to check them out but I want them to come back too yeah. so other kids yeah. can check them out so it's a bit of a process <laughs> but I'm having fun getting them all ready and put into the I classroom bet. library so I will be doing just a small little video just to put on my um, Instagram oh, to show off my nice. classroom library when it's all set up. Oh, that's up, so. a great idea. Yeah. Oh, so, that's nice. So be looking for that on my Instagram. Um, but yeah, my students start next Wednesday, so I still have a little bit of time to get things ready to go. Um, well, you were there yesterday too, I was you? there all day yesterday, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, my husband's a high school teacher, so he literally shows up like the day school starts maybe oh, the day before and right well they don't have all the bulletin boards and stuff no, right no yeah so, so that's kind of i know he's always just i mean how long have i been teaching and every year he's like aren't you done yet i'm like no <laughs> i'm not where have you been i have several uh -huh. friends that are teachers and like elementary age teachers and um they you know they put a lot of effort into their classrooms and you know, they're, they're yeah. going back to school a week or more before it starts to get things ready. And well, you so gotta think about it, you know, the classroom is basically my and the students home away from home. I mean, we're there yeah, so long every day. It's gotta be a place that works for us. So yeah. That's anyway, nice. um, tomorrow we're going to be having a party for my daughter, Maggie. Um, her birthday oh, is this month. Yes. Uh, she's turning 23. Sorry for the camera moving. Daisy was just knocking it. 
Um, she's turning 23 later this month, but she'll already be back in New York by the time she turns 23. So we're having a birthday party slash going away party for her tomorrow, just with grandparents and, and a couple oh, of their nice. kids' friends. Nothing crazy. Yeah. So we're going to do that. Well, that'll be good. Yeah. Oh, and my anniversary is on Friday. And yours is coming up soon. So my yes. husband and I are going to go out this weekend. Nice. Um, yeah, we're going to go. Um, he's booked us a room at a hotel downtown. So. Oh, you're actually going to spend the night? We're going to go somewhere and spend the night. And wow. Go out to dinner and wow. have fun. Get crazy. Who knows? That's really fun. <laughs> well, yeah, you just reminded me because actually this is my anniversary is on the 14th. So I should be. You should be thinking something. about that. Yeah. I know. I know. I have You've been, been busy. Yeah. You've been busy. What year is it for you and Jimmy? This will be our 16th anniversary. So. That's good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. 16 years together and eight. No, excuse me. 16 years married and 18 years together. We got married. Oh. Two okay. years to the day that we met. Oh, did you really? Mm -hmm. Did you plan it that way? Yeah. Oh, you did? Yeah, so we met on August 11th of 2005, and then we oh, married nice. on August 11th, 2007. Well, isn't that sweet? Yeah. So, anyway. <laughs> well, my husband and I will be married for 30 years. Wow. I know. That's amazing. We got married, you know, about 10 years before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> it was an wow, arranged marriage. Wow, you are amazing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, huh. so we will be married for 30 years, which is that's awesome. crazy for me to think You guys got to go that. do something special. We we are. We, you know, again, you know, kind of the summer of surgeries and, yeah, you know, my daughter's, our daughter's going to college. And so there's a lot, a lot of going on, but a lot take one night for the two of you. Yes. We yeah. need to, we need to get going on that. So, yeah. so fun thing. Yes. Yeah, that's what I'm up to. All right. I want to get into the next thing. I you got a lot. A lot. Of <laughs> you have been cramming it in before you go back to school, and I love it. I know. It was just like I told myself, like, oh, school's starting. I'm going to have no time for anything. So I finished all of the things. And they're adorable. All of the things. They're so cute. I love it. And they're so, all different, actually. Yeah. So buckle up, people. Yes. I'll be the, the holder. Okay. You need me to right. hold. So, um, start with that one. Yeah. So this is a finish and an FFO. I, I finished stitching this since the last time I saw you guys and I FFO'd it. This is Santa's Trips by Barbara oh, Anna. So adorable. What? I think you just had like two, like the inside of two boxes. But yeah. Pretty much. You had the, mm -hmm. oh, sorry, I Daisy is it. like her bed is on the floor right behind the little table that I have the camera set up on. Yes. And she's digging, you know, just to find the most comfy spot. And of right. course, she's hitting the camera. So she'll find her comfy spot here in like one second. But anyway, she's Jen's going to hold the table. taking a little spot. while. She's, she's taking her time. time. There's no rushing finding the perfect spot in the yeah. bed. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> that's how that turned out. This is just one of those like tabletop frame. It said like hope or something inside of it. And so I just... um. Mounted. Did you get it from Hobby Lobby? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just mounted the uh, cross stitch piece on a um, uh, mat board, and I popped it in there. and And this is all the way around here. This is just ribbon. It's cute that though. I glued on. Yeah. And this is one of those little buttons that came with our just another button company. Um, oh, well, that's perfect. It's a poinsettia. Yeah. Oh, that's perfect. I just thought it was a cute little addition. Yeah. So there's that. I'll give you a little close up of it. I it's stitched really it all cute. in the called for DMC and I think it turned out perfect. Oh, I love it. I so love it. Cute. Love it. So there's that. Really, really cute. This was also a, um, I think I had this, I think I had the I stitching was, finish yeah. in our last video and now I have the fully finish. This ah, is Ye so Old Crow cute. by uh, Hands On Design. And I stitched it on Grandpa's sleeve, which I think is just the perfect. I I do fabric. too. I don't think that could have been more perfect. And then you made the pumpkin orange. Yeah, I saw. Um, oh goodness, and I can't remember now. I because I had said I had put this picture on my Instagram mm -hmm. and said like I had been inspired by someone else that I saw on Instagram because they changed the color of the pumpkin. And um, a lady reached out to me. I'm blanking on her name right now. I'm so sorry. But she had said, oh, I stitched fine like that. Oh. And I said, well, you're probably the person that I saw then. <laughs> so It's adorable. It's a cute idea. Yeah. And I just had this um, wood block in my finishings 
I, I think I might have got it from Chantel's 141. I'm not positive. Yeah. But it's um, perfect. It's perfect size. It's perfect everything. Yeah. So I just put the, the stitched piece on some mat board and put some little rickrack around it mm -hmm. from, um, might have been from Lady Dot. And there's my finished piece. So I cute. love that. It's so cute. All right. Next, I let's see, what do I want to show next? Sorry. There's okay. so many. I know. <laughs> okay. So oh, this, I haven't seen this yet. Oh, this was my. Um, adorable cross stitch camp piece for july so i've been participating in colorado cross stitchers cross stitch camp mm -hmm. that she does in the summer I, she might do it other times of the year too but i think she's done it the past couple of summers yeah so this is my first time participating the um the prompt for july was something that grows so well that truly is that whales grow they do <laughs> so i stitched this this is winsome whale from artful offerings i stitched it on 40 count rustic drab by x2 design i used all the called for dmc and i just think it turned out perfect i think this brick rack is like the perfect color that goes with i know the fabric and show the back Yep, the back is the um, lady dot that. Sha uh, not, shallot shallot the velveteen yeah uh, very soft and then this is also lady dot chenille in the color um vintage so that looks great There's it's adorable whale. i love it thank you i do too all right this um sorry i've got so many things going on here oh my so sorry. many finishes <laughs> we have to sit right. through them <laughs> Take a break if you oh need to. Oh my Pause gosh, the video. these are cute. So this is Clover and Hive by Hands On Design. I stitched it using so all the called. Sorry, oh, using okay. all the called for DMC, and I stitched it on uh, uh, Seraphim fabrics in the color Bird's Eye View, forty count. That's perfect for that. I just love this. I love all the oh. little clover details yeah. and the little bees so pretty and the color palette is just so good it is and i like the color palette so much that i remembered i had another hands-on design b pattern that i really wanted to stitch you know i think you got that at the very first stitch con we were at together i've had it for a while yeah, yeah. which is like a couple several years so i decided to stitch that Oh, to look like this. Oh my gosh. So I just used the same color palette and the same fabric and everything. So this is Humble yeah. Honey. This is Clover and Hive. And I think they're so cute together. They're adorable. They have the same back, same chenille trim. This is algae. And I just love them so much. That's cute. That's so cute. Thanks. Oh my gosh. I love them. Too cute. Okay. Then... As I was, more. I know. <laughs> As I was pulling things out, I realized I have a couple things from last year that I finished stitching, like, like last fall, oh, uh -huh. that I hadn't fi fully finished, and I was just I had the finishing bug going on. So yeah, I pulled out a couple of older finishes. This being this one is of them, adorable. This is Boo by Hello from Liz Matthews. It was in last year's fall edition of Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher magazine, and look how cute it is. It turned out adorable. Oh, my Lord. I I started that last fall, and I think I'm doing it, like, on 32 count or something. And this is so cute on 40. Like, so cute. Yeah, it's so tiny. So it I, is. I had this piece. I, I buy a perfect. lot of finishing pieces and just stick them in my closet mm -hmm. in my drawer. That way I have them. Um, but this is just a little piece that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, yeah, I put, like fabric on a board and put it in the back and then then put the stitching on the front very easy very easy finish this one i had stitched this was um costume party by hands-on design i'm having a hands-on design kind of day you are actually <laughs> i am so this was costume party from hands-on design she released this last year i think this is being released to the public soon probably it was so. um it was kind of a, well, it was kind of a sale. And then yeah. she released, like, I think there was like three or four days in a row and she released each pattern mm -hmm. or a piece Part, of the yeah. pattern. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, and you could order all the finishing materials and yes. the board and all of that. And I had the finishing materials and I was thinking, how stupid that this is just sitting here, not finished when I have all the finishing materials. So it is so here it is. Did really? you buy all the bows? I'm wondering if I have that bow stuff, or did you find that no. and put it on separately? 
the bow I the bow I made yeah. just with ribbon that I had in my stash but it's really I had cute. the board you know because I bought the finishing board this and from, the Rick Rack. yeah the boards yeah. were was it that's so Kelly no maybe not no the boards were um I know on like Etsy or Instagram her she's April from Alabama oh okay I think her Sorry, shop is April. called something yeah on at on Instagram she's April from Alabama. I forget what the name of her Etsy shop is, but if you go look at her Instagram, yeah. I'm she sure she has link. a link. Yeah, but look how cute. And it was painted already, right? Yeah. yeah. It really is adorable. I, I, it's so funny because, um, I just pulled mine out to, um, I need to finish stitching a little bit on it and wanted to get it done. I'm hoping Kathy will do another one. She did the, yeah, she did um, the um, cookie exchange. Cookie exchange. And then the costume party, so yeah. who knows what's next. All right, now this was also a previous finish. Excuse me. Oh Jamie. my gosh, Sarah. So. This is crazy how many of these you have. So last year I had stitched this little one and this little one. And I decided I wanted to do little tag ornament type thingies. So these are partial finishes they're not fully finished did you did you cut that design yourself mm -hmm. yeah wow so it's gonna be a little tag ornament like I said it's a partial finish it's not all the way so got my front piece here and my back so piece cute. that are gonna go together um I did order uh eyelets and like an eyelet punching tool so I can punch a hole oh, there oh okay and I'm going to use this twine oh, as a hanger yeah and these little beads are going to go <gasps> oh, in the Oh, how cute. So I think that's going to be so cute. That's going to be adorable. And I did make an extra finishing board because um, I do want to go and stitch the third one now. That way I'll have the full set. I'm not going to stitch the big one. That's so cute. But I want to have all three of these. And I want to get like a little Halloween tree and yes. hang them on there. Michael's has this look. It's literally like a little like black tree. Very small. It's just like a little tabletop. Yeah. And I think it would be really cute to hang these three ornaments on there. I've been hearing a lot of people talk about that. I know. Um, and I think that would be adorable. I actually bought a tree years ago at Pier 1. And it's kind of like that. And it's kind of, you know, hangs over. Mm -hmm. and, and I bought all these little ornaments. Um, they're not stitched ornaments. But it would be nice one day to so I transform have... them two more things to show sorry finishing yeah oh my gosh <laughs> this is like the finishing show so speaking of like formal uh formerly finished things so this came i won't show it to you yet but this one came from moonlight sampler by the blue flower i had started stitching it a while ago if you've been if you've watched our show for a while you you know that I had some issues with the fabric I was stitching it on. I did not like the fabric I was stitching it on. And I had a good part of it done. Sarah likes to take perfectly beautiful pieces of cross stitch and then decide, sometimes halfway done, uh, that she doesn't like the fabric. And then she decides she's going to restitch it. Because I won't finish it if I don't. So... But I didn't want to lose the stitching I did. And on that piece, I had this adorable owl. That's so cute. So I stuck it in a hoop. And now he just hangs on the wall. Just a regular hoop. I put some, um, like, braided ribbon. Mm -hmm. I glued it on the side there. and That's perfect. Yeah. What's on the back? Is that crap? It's uh, just um like, fabric. Oh, it's fabric. Uh-huh. Did you, like, Eileen's glue that? Or how did you put that on? Oh. So when I... When I finish something, I take the stitched piece and I take a piece of fabric and I put them together, right sides out, and then I put the hoop on it. Okay. And that way, once I put the hoop on, you yep, see the finished that. side of this on this side, and then you see the, the right side of the fabric on the other side. And the way I finish my hoops is um, I take, you know how you have your fabric sticking out. I like cut it down to like an inch around the okay. hoop. And then I put Aileen's glue inside and I just like Oh, fold. and do it on the back of it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And just fold down all the edges until they're nice, nice. and glued down. Oh, yeah, because it makes it look really nice on the back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Especially if you don't have like a cover. Yeah, I'm not too worried about because nobody sees the backs unless I show everybody on it. <laughs> um, but this one is also another 
another thing in the same type of vein. I had started something, I didn't want to stitch it anymore, and I didn't want to lose what I had stitched, so I put it in another hoop. So this is from 100 Owls from Owl Forest Embroidery. I had stitched that big owl, and then I decided to start over. So I still have the owl. Owls. To, well, I only had one out of out of 100, so I still have 99 more to go. I think it's the biggest owl on it is. the pattern. Yeah, well. <laughs> So see, I still have the owl to show, and he didn't go in the garbage, so it's no, fine. no. It, that's a, you know that's really a wonderful idea. If you're stitching something and you decide, hey, I don't want to finish this, but you can still take a piece of it that you mm -hmm. stitched, and, and I still have something to display. Right, right, right which is a and great idea. And this is idea. just a regular old hoop from like Michaels or Joann's or something, and I used those little stamp pads that um oh Chantel. Uh, Jim or Tim? Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz. Yeah, the distressed ink like stamp pads. And I literally just rubbed it all over to like stain it. It's so, a nice, it, it's yeah. nice, very even too. So there's that. And I think that's all my finishes. Are you sure? I'm pretty sure, yeah. <laughs> so that's awesome. I feel like I'm done with finishes for a while. Well, you got, and so how many finishes did you do this summer? I don't know. Because this is eight. I and then you just had four little pillows. Mm -hmm. And I mean that's kind of crazy, Sarah. I think you had I've had several. You've I, had quite a bit. Once I get it done stitching, I don't really like to let things sit around because Which is is good. I, I have a pile to, of I want to have them displayed around yeah. me. So And it's nice because it's not fall yet. Sometimes I feel like, you know, it's fall and, you know, it's two days before the season or you're going to celebrate and then you're trying to get it finished. And so now you can really enjoy yeah, all those so I pieces. I can enjoy them, I know. Yeah. I had forgotten that I had stitched those. I have a little, like, plastic, like, scrapbooking um, container thing that I keep all my finishes in so they can lay oh, flat in there. Oh, that's a good idea. And I just happened to pull it out and look and I was like, oh, I forgot I had this and yeah. this. So I still have a few more things in there to finish, but. That's a good idea. I have them in a project bag and they kind of stick to each other and fold over yeah. and, you know, I'm trying to tuck it in and that's a good idea to use like a scrapbooking Yeah, it's just box. like a. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Plastic box mm -hmm. and it's like big and square shaped. And, and it's not too thick. No. So. Yeah. All right, finishes are done, girl. Well, I don't have any. <laughs> That's okay. I, I had enough for you. <laughs> you did. You did. I'm going to let you you be the queen finisher. I'll be the star today. It's okay. Yes. All right, but what have you been stitching? Let's well, look at some whips. Uh, I have a few things to show. Let's um, see. I wanted to iron these because they're very wrinkly. But um, I stitched, I started this pattern. It's been on my list for a long time. And everybody was doing Jolly July. Mm -hmm. And so I really wanted to stitch this. I think it's so cute. It's, it's uh, Brenda Gervais and it says best time of the year. And the big word is Jolly. That is so cute. I just think it's cute. So I wanted to start that for a while. And um, so I finally did. However, I made so many darn mistakes stitching this darn thing. Um, it's not fully stitched, but I think I've had to frog um, I started with the letters and I think I've had to frog almost every letter with the mm -hmm. J. So this is how far I got. Again, I was frogging and stitching and frogging. I love um, that green though. It is, it is pretty. It's very pretty. Um, this green is actually a DMC. I think it's 733. So mm -hmm. it is pretty. And then this is on, um, I believe this is Winter Brew by R&R. Okay. It's a it's a nice color. You know, I have uh, light mocha Zweiger, yeah. I believe. Mm -hmm. And the colors are very, very similar. <laughs> so if you didn't have winter brew, you might get away with the light mocha. Yeah. It's kind of, I'm starting to figure out some of those things with fabrics. And yeah. So, so that's, that's one I have. And I have one more. I can't wait till you start stitching the Santa in it. I know, that'll be really cute. Well, and that's why I ended up frogging the O, because the first time I did it, I was missing a line. Yeah. And the Santa 
goes from the bottom of the O to the top and I would cut yeah. like his hat off. So I'm like, I need to restitch it. Well, then when I restitched it, now I have an extra line. And I counted that darn thing. Better to have an extra line. That's than... what I thought. Yeah. He can have a taller hat or something. Sure. So, um, so <laughs> this, I have the same issue with. <laughs> so Sarah and I are going to Chantal's uh, 141 pep rally retreat, yeah. which is coming up. And we're getting very excited. There's a lot of stitchers that we know that are going mm -hmm. and a lot that are going that we want to get to meet and, and meet in person. So I started, we have a, a pre-stitch to do. So Kathy, whoops. Oh, I was like, I was gonna show you my jolly again. Um, so Kathy Haberman is the guest uh, designer and she gave us all a pre-stitch. And so at the retreat, there's part of the pattern that we are not supposed to stitch because at the retreat, we're going to learn some specialty stitches mm -hmm. and we're all going to fill those in. And then Kathy is going to walk us through a finish. And we don't know how that finish is going to be because yeah. she's bringing all the materials. So uh, I will show you a picture. And actually, let me take this out in case of the glare. Um, it's very cute. And it's... Um, I've done some of Kathy's, uh, well, one of Kathy's uh, finishing classes previously, and this is a lot less stitching um, than one of her classes. But again, this retreat, I think there's 125 people coming oh, wow. versus like 40, 40 people in her yeah. class. But That's this true. is called Four Seasons Folk Autumn, and I believe this is going to be a series. So this might be the first in the series, and um, it's really cute. Very cute. Mm -hmm. And so. I like the colors. I do too. And the fabric is a nice fabric. It's fabrics by Stephanie. And it is, um, oh my gosh. I was just going to say, what is it? Chocolate milk? Or milk? No, oh, I don't remember. Wouldn't it, would it say on there? I'm sure it does. Oh, shoot. Now that I said it, it's going to bother me. Um, uh. Driftwood. Driftwood. That's right. Driftwood. Nothing because, to do with chocolate. No, sorry. <laughs> because I think I have this, um, I got some fabric by Stephanie. I think it's the same fabric to mm -hmm. do. Um, she has like these seasons. So I started it and, you know, I'm doing letters and you would think that that wouldn't be difficult, but I, I had to frog it twice. And <laughs> so I, I've not gotten very far. Look at that fabulous start. I got a Q and an R. I did a middle start. So, um, well, you've gotten more than me done. Oh, you're kidding me. Oh, I can't <laughs> believe it. I thought you were going to whip yours out and it would be like all done. Well, I had to, I had to start and then I had to frog it because I'm starting top I started center the top. and it was like skewed. I, I had measured it and everything and it was over too far one way. So I had oh. to frog. So that's my tiny start. <laughs> Wow, I actually have more stars than you, Sarah. I'm shocked. I'm impressed. I'm shocked. <laughs> but I have something really exciting to Ooh. share. Oh. Sarah doesn't even know I'm going to share this. <gasps> so, but I have to say, so before I share it, we have a little stitchy group. Um, and we are doing a round robin. So anyone in the stitchy group, they need to fast forward and turn their ears off. <laughs> Are you surprised I'm doing this? I'm doing it because that's what I've been stitching. <laughs> well, I cannot wait. Okay, so I'm re I'm revealing it, Sarah. So because what what so what we did is we have eight eight gals that wanted to participate, and we found a pattern. Um, we all thought it was like the perfect pattern. It is by Heartstreak Samplery, and it is Love Letters to the Cross Stitch Nation. I just love that pattern. It is such a pretty pattern. I'm going to kind of zoom in. And um, it is such a great pattern. It just, like, really fit what we were doing. So yeah. what we decided is we only have eight people. There's ten hands on here. But we all chose uh, colors, um, mm -hmm. threads to stitch, and then we... Um, and then we we started where we stitched our own hand, and then we just said, please put your initials on it. And all of us really just gave kind of uh, carte blanche, 
you can change the design up a little bit if yeah. you want to add rings or a bracelet or something like that or whatever colors. And we sent our own color palettes too, but I, I think a lot of us were like, hey, if you have other colors you want to throw in there, go for it. Like, it's just kind of like, make it yours, yep. right? Yeah. So, um, I unfortunately, unfortunate to the participants, have had a bottleneck of the patterns, which I have fully acknowledged and I've asked for forgiveness <laughs> so good thing you're cute right? I, yeah i guess so <laughs> so we have a, a big plan we all started with our own fabric and we stitched our own hand and then we had a plan sarah made up a little schedule and we would pass it to the next person so i was super lucky i would pass it to sarah um and we were supposed to do this each month we were supposed to be passing a hand along so um, a few people have gotten their hand, but many of us have not because I've had them. But I did get mine back, and I wanted to show everyone. Oh, I can't wait to see. I know. It looks awesome. I, I love it. I love it. So, um, oh, and we also decided, um, because we're all kind of different levels of stitchers, and so we decided, well, what's a count? Because um, we have some that weren't even stitching on linen. So we said, you know, what's a count that everybody feels comfortable doing? And so we chose a 28 count. Mm -hmm. um, so we all decided we'd have to buy a 28 count. And I will have to look. I'm not sure what this is. This is a seraphim fabric. But look at my it's hands. So pretty. I know. Look how pretty that is. I know. So you can see like one. So we will hold that in real say, quick. And I can, I'm going to put like a. There oh, there we go. So you can see, like, one person put a little uh, pearl. Oh. Somebody did a turquoise heart and then some rings. Um, just, I love the colors. So then this pretty. person, this is actually Allison. She put oh. fingernails on it. I'm always having my my fingernails. Well, and Allison does the color street nails. So that she, oh, that's sense. right. Yeah. She does. And then she put her initials under here, oh. which I thought was a really cute idea. A lot of us have been putting it in the heart. I've been putting mine in the mine heart. Mine are always the, bo the boring ones. Yeah, mine are pretty boring too. <laughs> so, um, and our friend Sally, um, um, maybe we can Ask Sally if we can put a picture in here. But she did an adorable little box that I think she just made up and uh -huh. kind of put and her initials and mm -hmm. hand stitched. And so I was going to see if I could grab that from Sally. Yeah, and she, she put that it in said there. something like um, stitched by and she put her initials and her good friends. And then she put um, the year 2023. If you, you need to go follow Sally Yun, yes. Y-O-U-N, on Instagram. She has a picture of her finished piece. She made it a, into a pillow, and it is adorable. It's adorable. It's adorable. So I'm going to see if and she'll I'll ask let her, me copy that. I know. I, I was, was hoping I was maybe we can her, um, If I could put her picture, picture on, our, um, yes. on our Stitchy Friends Instagram as well. And so. maybe we'll challenge Sarah and say, put it in our thing. Aww. You did that before. You did really well. But isn't editing. that so cute? I just, I love all the colors. It's so colorful. It's so pretty. I know. So are you going to turn so, it into a pillow? Or are you going to yes, frame it? I am. Our friend Sally did a pillow. And I want to do mine just like Sally because I think it will look I know. Great. If Sally does it, that's how we want to do it. I know. We. I like to. Everything love Sally. Sally does is so creative. <laughs> so so mine is done. I have mine back. Yay. And uh, I know everybody else is anxiously awaiting. So I have several to pass to Sarah. And so this was the part that I didn't want our stitchy Are friends. you going to show them? I was. Yes. Because, you know, we had talked about waiting to finish. But then I realized they would all be at everybody. They would all be back to people. So it'd be hard for us to get them to show everybody. Yeah. So I thought I would. So if you're in our round robin and you don't want to see yours, close your eyes yes. or fast forward. Yes. So I have two that I'm going to be passing to Sarah today and I am not the last stitcher on them. So this one, um, I believe is our friend Holly. So Holly chose, I'm not sure what fabric this is, but I really like it. So I just stitched mine, and mine is right here. So I've been stitching. I've done a little differently. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've been stitching um, fingernails. I don't know if you can see yeah, the fingernails, so but pretty. I've been stitching some fingernails. I like Allison's nails I know. a lot better. They showed up a lot cuter than mine did. But, um, but yeah, so everybody's just, you know, chosen different colors, and I love it really cute and I don't know what fabric this is I really like it 
I yeah. like stitching on it and I love the color. It's a great neutral. Yeah. So the I will hands have, really show up nice on they it. They do. They do. So I'm not sure. Holly didn't put what fabric this is, but I think it's really cute. So I need to pass it to Sarah. So Sarah will put a hand here and then you pass it to I Maggie? pass it to our friend Maggie with an eye. So Maggie will put hers in and then she will mail it back to Holly. Yeah. So Holly is coming your way soon. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so that's that one. So I'm going to officially pass okay. it to Sarah. She's been officially wanting Officially passed. Yes. My plan was to do one a day, but yesterday didn't work out so well. And I don't know if today will. So, and then I want to get my Chantel stitch in. Oh, okay. Nice. So, so, oops. Oh, Sarah, here's your, here's your notebook. Okay. I'm stealing your stuff over here. Sorry. And I did just buy one of those um, display board thingies from... Um, oh, did you like a quilt one from yeah. like Lori Holder yes. that quarter? I, I saw our friends, uh, Chris and Victoria on Stitchy Friends, uh, excuse me, Stitchy Fix. Um, and and Chris had just bought a board, and I've seen so many people I use know. them on their floss tubes. I'm like, I just need to buy one. It's a nice idea. And I thought, too, then we could sort of, like, iron it and just lay them on mm -hmm. the board instead of, like, getting them out of the package. Yeah. And, um, so this is our friend Maggie. Oh, yes, this is Maggie's. And so she, I'll be the last one to stitch on Maggie's. Yes, I think so. Okay. And she chose 28-count white chocolate, um, and it's a, I always say this wrong, Winchelt. Winchelt. No Winchelt. Sorry. Sorry. I'm still, I'm still learning. So I, I appreciate the correction. So look at this. Mm. I love how everybody has different fabrics. Yeah. And just different super color cute. Palettes. Yes. Oh. Look at how great that shows up. That's so pretty. So we've seen a blue. We've seen like a, like a taupey gray beige kind of. And now this is like a light, well, it's white chocolate. Yeah. And so, and this so, is interesting because most people have, um, oh, actually, shoot. What? Oh, you already shipped it. Because um, the the other gal that I passed to Sarah earlier, she stitched it that day and shipped it off. Um, her name is Kathy. And, um, and she's she, Allison's mom. She's Allison's mom. And so um, everyone was doing a red heart. I don't think you had to, but it was a certain red. And I... I just went along with everyone, yeah. so I don't know what you ended up doing. I, I went ahead because everybody else did. You, yeah. I just heart. think that'll be kind of cute when she gets hers, and they'll all be the same color heart. Hopefully, we can get everybody to take a picture of their finish, and then we can kind of do like a collage. That would be that would, that would be, be awesome. But you've got, um, you know, a ring. I, who's doing the pearl rings? Who I think that? that's Kathy. That's Kathy. Oh, Kathy. Allison's mom. She's doing the pearl ring. So and I pretty. actually did. I hope she did one of mine. I actually did a um, a, a a bead, a beaded ring, um, but not everybody got a bead. But everybody got a ring. I better get a <laughs> ring, a bead. <laughs> well, you know, there's there's one more I need to do. Two more, I think. Well, one of them's got to be mine. It is. And I decided not to bring Sarah's because I know. So when I, and I told her she's going to be last. So there's one ahead of her in the queue. And I told her, um, and let me give you this envelope too. If you, yeah. I don't know if you can reuse it and just seal the top. So, um, oh, thank you, ma'am. Yes, thank you. And, All right, Maggie, um, be looking for these. They're coming your way soon. Yes, yes. I know, and it's I know it's bad timing because you're starting school, and but Miss Finisher, you'll get it done. I'm not worried. No I'm not worried. So, <laughs> okay, so that was my big. That's exciting. Surprise. Yeah, I just thought, why not? I'll show it, and um, I love. I mean, I know it's a lot. You know, it's one more thing that you have to do. You know, I know when I get them, I'm like, oh, I got to get that done, right? I know, but... But it's going to be so cool. It is going to be great, and I feel awful that I've delayed it and delayed it. And, you know, once you sit and stitch it, it's really not that big of a deal. Um, it's just it's one, it's just it's one just, more thing on your list. You're like, oh, I got to do that. Yeah, but, um, but it is going to be... I'm excited. I'm glad that I did it. Mm -hmm. I was... Like, why did I do this? And um, But I'm really glad I did it. And I can't wait to finish it because it'll look cute. All right, do you know how you're going to finish yours? I don't know. Maybe a pillow. Yeah. I like the whole pillow idea. It's cute. Yeah. We've got to get a picture of Sally's because it is really cute. And I forget what fabric she used. But um, but it's just been fun because when it comes, then it's kind of surprised when you open it to see what 
fibers they chose and you know what color their fabric is yeah and it would have been boring if we'd all like done the call for exactly it is it's been yeah. nice so it's um been fun and i feel like everybody's has just a little taste of their personality yeah. to it absolutely absolutely I, I love the whole round rob round robin thing and i i've been watching um these girls on it on uh, floss tube bridge in the museum st stitcher megan the seattle stitcher frizzy lizzie stitches um, Cam the Stitcher, Marjorie made, um, and they're they're doing one. They're doing a round robin also with their friend uh, Kitty Stitcher on Instagram. But they're oh, doing fun. a round robin, and they've been showing you know their pattern and their floss and their fabric. And I'm like, oh, that's so fun. Yeah, it's a really fun thing it to is, do with your friends. It is really fun, and we all live different places. I mean, you know, um, I think there's only. Well, we do have some local people we all kind of met in Cincinnati, but mm -hmm. we have several people, one in Virginia and one in Michigan and um, one in Maryland. Yeah. So it's been nice to just, you know, yeah. we mail it and pass it around. And that's a fun way to keep in touch with your stitchy friends. It is. It is. It's a fun. Are it's you ready to do way. another one after this? You know, I <laughs> I said I'd never do another one, and I still have I two to would. stitch. But you know what? I will, and I will take, and I will be better at getting it done because it really is a nice thing. Um, it's really cool. Yeah. Maybe next time we do something like really small. Well, I don't know how much smaller <laughs> we can get in one of those hands. But let me tell you, I I am not a fast stitcher. I am aspiring to increase my speed and I'm doing the sewing method now um but I am not a fast stitcher so it it takes me well it's not a race a so. couple hours and there's floss changes and yeah. um you know so but I mean some of them like the one I handed you for Kathy I was trying to do it I was trying to do it in the waiting room when Rocco was getting his wisdom teeth out and that was a terrible decision and then I had to frog it and so you know I just, just need to sit down yeah. and, you know, be, have the time and just focus and get it done. And then I can yeah. get it done in a couple hours. Well, you're so. doing a great job. You're almost done. Well, thanks. So, yeah. Awesome. Okay. Well, are you ready to show yours? I'm yes. Just let me grab my stuff, stuff off here. the floor. I here. know. Let me get my stuff off the floor here, too. Yes. Well, sorry for that surprise, but I thought. Don't be sorry. I like surprises. Sarah is always surprising me, so I wanted to surprise her. <laughs> you did. Wow. Look at your pile of stuff. All right, so this is actually um, Paul, too. That's Isn't really this cute? cute. Yes. I got it um, made by Rachel. She's on Etsy. She's in the UK. Isn't this that little is, rainbow pouch adorable? That is very cute. Very cute. So in She's here. in the UK. That uh -huh. is so cute. In here, I have, this was a freebie chart, so you oh, can go you on. Oh, did you start? Oh, I started it a little while ago. Yeah. yeah. Um, it's called Create. By Teresa Kogan. Yeah, Create Every Day by Teresa Kogan. It was a freebie from Nashville 2020, so you can go on her website and grab that. But I wanted to stitch it because I saw Nicole Spore was stitching it in rainbow oh. colors. And so I wanted to stitch it in rainbow colors, too. Yes. And I'm stitching out in the same fabric she was using, which oh. is a pink called Blush. And Oh, look how pretty. Here it is. Here it is. Hey, you know what? Yeah, let me be the... I can hold that. You do need to grab a board. I know. My board is coming. We'll have it for the next video. There we go. Oh, that's so well, cute. The, the paper is showing. Yeah, I was going to say the, the oh, notebook is a little better. Okay. All right. Well, it's pink. Isn't it cute? It's really cute. Yeah. And it's my colors. really cute. Yeah, do you show your colors? Yeah. I oh, just, how fun. I know. I just pulled some random, like there's an almond m &Ms, there's forbidden oh, fiber, nice. there's a weeks, there's a... Um, just bright, fun forbidden colors. Fiber, forbidden Fiber Co. Just bright, fun rainbow colors. So. And it's in a cute, fun rainbow bag. Yeah. Aren't you just all matchy-matchy? Yeah, so I saw Nicole Spore do it, and I wanted to do it too. And I just have to say... I want to say hi to Nicole because, hi, Nicole. um, yes, um, uh, Chantel, um, I keep talking about Chantel. She's great. Um, <laughs> she's been doing like a zoom for the people that are going to her retreat just for it's some, some people it's their first retreat, mm -hmm. which I think is really nice because then people can kind of get to know people before the retreat and, yeah. you know, recognize some faces. And, um, Nicole was on there and I was like super excited to meet her. And, and Nicole Spore is, an, is a floss tuber, um, and she's a multi-crafter. She's yes. amazing if you haven't seen her before. Yes. Sorry. 
and um, she does videos, uh, she does card making, um, paper crafting, and all kinds of things. Um, but she was super fun to me, very darling, and I'm looking forward to seeing her at Chantel's retreat. Me too, I can't wait. Do you want to hold those for you? Mm, sure. I could be the holder and you, you could be the holder. Hold. Okay, I'll be the holder. Okay, all right. So the next one I worked on was 100 Owls, speaking of. <laughs> There's an owl that I stitched and put in the hoop. Um, but I restarted this because I didn't like my fabric. And I'm doing this as a stitch along with our wonderful friend, Allie. She yes. has a new floss tube called Allie Z is Crafty. Hi, Allie. Go check her out. Hi, Allie. She's the sweetest. We met her at the Steel City Stitchers we retreat. We did, and we love her. She's so, yeah, great. She has a new floss tube. Go check her out. Um, but she and I, I love that color. It was funny because when she was watching my whip parade, she texted me and was like, "We have literally no <laughs> whips in common, right? Except for one." And then she was like, "But I see that you that you are doing the 100 owls." She said, "I have I have it all kitted up. I just haven't started it." So oh, okay. We were like, "Let's do it. Let's yeah. let's stitch some owl forest." And so we had a stitch along, and the hashtag is hashtag Owl Forest Friday. And we just stitch on Owl Forest on Fridays. And you can literally stitch any Owl Forest if you want to join us. But there's my new start. I really like that fabric. Isn't it look how cute? pretty those little owls look against that fabric. I think this fabric. So if you what see. Is, yeah, what is that? This fabric? is the fabric I had. Yeah, it, it does make a world of difference. Uh, yeah, I love wow, this fabric totally a thousand different. times more. I bought this at um, StitchCon. I, mean, I believe it's. Yeah, look? I believe it's pistachio. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Pistachio by, by uh, somebody. It's not fiber on a whim, though, is no, it? No, Atomic Ranch. Atomic Ranch. Atomic Ranch. That's 40 count pistachio by Atomic oh, Ranch. And I'm stitching are. it with the um, Owl Forest embroidery threads that I purchased. Yeah. So the pattern is free on Owl Forest That's Embroidery's so website. Um, Love but that. they are a Russian company, so I don't know that you can buy the floss. Right. Yeah, but. The pattern is I, available. Can you still down? Yeah, is it? Can you download yes. the free stuff from her website still? Yes, because okay. I realized that I only had parts one and two printed. Oh, okay. And I was like, oh shoot, I hope I can get the rest on right. And I was able to. Oh, good. So good it's good, all good. 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 And I'm wow. keeping it in my paint to leave co bag, my favorite paint to leave co bag that ever. Yeah. yeah. I had something else in here. I had Moonlight Sampler in here, but I put it somewhere else, which I'll show you shortly. And I was like, oh, that'd be perfect for my Owl Forest. Do you get do you get confused when you change bags? I never know what's in any bag. I have to look in all of them. See, I I'm sort of still on and... my set of first bags for things. So then when I change bags, yeah. Although that makes more sense to me. Owl forest. Oh is yeah, in the absolutely. Owl bag. I like to match my my what I'm stitching to yeah. like the. Bag. I showed this bag last I know. time. This is That's my really vintage pretty. owl lady bag, my moth bag, and in here I have. Um, my project, I hadn't started this last time, so this is a new start since you've seen me um, last. Oh, right. Yeah, Matters Choice by Carriage House Samplings. I chose this as my um, August Colorado cross-stitcher, um, cross-stitch camp piece. Try something new, I think, is all. Try something count. new, yes. So, and this is what you bought my, at the attic. I, yes, I kitted this up at the attic out in Arizona. And if the try something new part is the fabric count. I've never stitched on a 56 count and I've wow. never stitched with Tudor silk. And good Lord, is that small. Wow, <laughs> Sarah, you're doing it though. That's awesome. And you're not using a magnifier, are you? I, I did it first. Um, yeah. I have to stitch this in daylight because. Oh I mean, gosh, how could you I mean, not? Lord, it's 50, 56 count? I have to stitch in like bright daylight, like. I tried using the magnifier and the light, and my eyes are just are not used to it, and it yeah. gave me a headache. So yeah, I could see that. If I'm sitting in like bright daylight, I can do it. So this probably not is it probably is not going to be a finish this month. But. Oh well, gee. <laughs> well, I finished my other two cross stitch camp what pieces. What is the fabric though? Because you got this, that at the attic. Yeah, I right? got the fabric at the attic. Do you this know is Tabby that's Cat Linen in oh, the color okay. Ragamuffin. That's cute. Yeah. That's I cute. love I it. Like I the think color. I love the colors. I love well, the color. <laughs> How do you like using the Tudor silk? I've it's never used so Tudor silk. Fine. It's yeah. so tiny. So like the I have a piece of it right here. So the strands are very 
small already and it's a 12 oh, and it's you, 12 strands so right in of, that little thing in this little tiny oh thing oh my gosh wow that so when is you pull out, a, pull out and you use one strand on you 56 use one on 56 i don't even wow. know if you can see i don't even think you well <laughs> we need that we need that right behind it so here's the whole strand and here's the one it's so wow look at how fine tiny that is. Oh my gosh, very fine. So it's so it's yeah. If you were if you were gonna like if you were gonna stitch on fifty six and you weren't using Tudor silk, like one strand of DNC would probably be too fat or too thick on fifty six. Yeah, yeah. So okay. you kind of have to use a different. Yeah, yeah. So. Oh, that's really pretty. Ooh, yes. Very pretty. I can't wait until you get it done. I love that bag, too. I know. Too. Isn't this bag so cute? I love the purple. I know. The I got this. Caps, um, those are adorable. I got it a few months ago from Jess over at Como Stitches. Oh, it just, oh, okay. Yeah. And so I pulled this back out. I started this a while back. And, I bet um, I know what this is. I knew you were going to pull this out. This is now a rele a new release from Black Fla or Blue Flower. I know. I, I saw her new releases and I was like, I out. have that. I want to stitch that. I want to get that pattern. I love it. So this was an exclusive for the Silver Needle. Um, and our friend Kim had the kit. And she, she wasn't going to stitch like, it. So she gave it to me. I know. I love that. And so I saw that it was a new release. I was like, oh, I'm pulling that I, back out. Yeah. So I just Ooh, I like the tiny star fabric. Present. It's so pretty. Oh, I love Look it. Look at those colors. I love that. It's it's uh, kitted all in dinky dyes. I believe it's all dinky dyes. There might be. Oh, wait, because she gave you the whole kit, right? Yeah, I have all dinky oh, dyes. Nice. It is so pretty. Look at those colors. And this fabric is um, Heather by Fiber on, a Fiber on a Whim, 40 count. I remember when you bought that. Yeah, it it came with a different uh, fabric in the kit, and I did not like the oh, okay. kit fabric, so I had to do it on something else. Plus, the kit fabric was, like, green. Oh, really? And I wanted the, purp the oh, purple. Oh, okay, but... yeah, I like it on the purple. So, there it That's is. Gonna I love it. How love do you like it. using the dinky dyes? I love dinky dyes. I've used Do them you, before. Have you? Yeah, because I, haven't I have used some them very much. I have some Lindy Stitches patterns um, from back in the day that have dinky dyes oh, okay. in them. I mean, look at this color palette. Oh, oh, sorry, wow. they are a mess. Hold on. Let me brush my flaws for a second. They're pretty. They are so pretty. Okay, here we go. Look how pretty they are. That's really pretty. I just love this. I'm, I could see why it's called Autumn Bee because at first I was like, Autumn Bee, that is so colorful. But I mean, these There's colors a lot of, are yeah. autumn. Yeah, they are. They're so pretty. I think on that purple, it just makes soft. them pop. I know they look super silky. I just ordered um, a bunch of dinky dyes. I have just waiting on this one, two, three stitches. Great. I don't have any complaints, but I ordered something and somehow it got sent to the Bahamas. Oh. Yeah, hmm. and it's been sitting there forever, and so they're re redoing my order, but I have some dinky dyes in it. Uh, it. Not that I don't have anything to stitch, but I'm like right, you excited to, to get it and start stitching. <laughs> and So, yeah. All right, so in my snap trap that I showed on our last video that I got from Punky Pearls, Heather over at Punky Pearls, which I love. So cute. I had, I, you can hold several projects in here. So I was asking myself, what do I want to put in here? Like, yeah. it has to be something special. And this just screams the blue flower to me. Because yes. her patterns have so many cute animals on them. They do. And so this is my blue flower snap trap. Oh, nice. Well, how come you don't have your purple one in there? Because I already had it filled with so many other things. Oh. Plus, <laughs> plus the bee is cute in the purple I know, the purple. I know. It's, it's come on. too cute matching that. Yes. Yeah. And I just can't fit all of my blue flower in here. So that's why. So, oh wow, you got that thing filled up. I do. So nice. I decided that I want to only put blue flower in here because the blue flower, if you're new here, is my favorite designer, my favorite cross stitch designer. And I have so many projects of hers started and I really want to make some progress on mm -hmm. them. So I was like, I'm going to put them in here and this is just going to sit with me wherever I'm sitting. And so this is kind of an older one. I started this a while ago. Oh, gosh. You did. I bought this at our first StitchCon. Did you really? 2021. I think, I think you were stitching this. You started stitching it when you first took Maggie to college. 
yeah didn't yeah, you you're in right. the car yeah how do you remember that? i don't know because i liked <laughs> the pattern and i couldn't believe you were stitching like on 40 count or something in the car actually no this is 32 count oh it is okay. which normally i would restart but i'm not restarting this it's beautiful the fabric is, i remember you bought the fabric at stitch con yes. yes so this is um lemongrass that's beautiful lemongrass by somebody i forget who oh Lemongrass by, oh, Mystic Fabrics. Oh, okay. Are you yeah. using the called for colors? I only changed one. I changed the blue of the letters for acorns. It's a perfect Because the called blue. for blue was the, at least the dye lot I got was way too light. Oh, was it? So I changed it to Weeks Dye Works Twilight. But look how stinking cute it is. Oh, I love that. Is. Yeah, I love the blue. It's perfect on that fabric. Yeah, so I have almost... I have almost all of the center stuff done. So after I finish these leaves and stuff over here, I can work on that border and be done. Yeah, you really don't have that much more. No, it I don't. It doesn't look like it. You've done a lot. I know. Aren't those little squirrels That's inside adorable. all the letters so cute? That's going to be very, very cute when you I finished. love this one. I love it. So there's my acorns. I've been working on that a little bit. All right, and I have also been working on, I had to pull this one out too, because I also saw that this, she was releasing this. Oh, this is, I forget what, for, Forest Home? Mm -hmm. You got this at the retreat last year. At um, the Lindy Stitches Acorns and Threads Retreat. Yeah. Lindy Stitches and um, Blue Flower. So I had, where did I order this from? It must have been from Acorns and Threads. Oh, maybe. Yeah, because it, it because I've had it for a little while and it's just now being released. It's out for pre-order now. So I must have ordered it from Acorns and Threads because I saw you had it and yeah. it was lovely. Just look how cute that is. It says our roots, our roots are in the depths of the woods. And I saw, I had started this a little while ago, but I had only started the border. And then I saw on uh, Lindy Stitch's most recent uh, floss tube. Did you watch it? You didn't I watch it. Well, I watched one. I don't know if it's her most recent, but I watched a recent one. Yeah. She's stitching this, and she did this part oh, here with that tree and yes. that deer. Oh, my Lord. Yes. It is so That's cute. That's all she stitched of it. Yes. yes. So but she's like, stitching oh, that as I gotta well. I got to pull that back out. But I started in the opposite corner, in the left, top left start. So here's what I've got so far. Nothing crazy yet, but got some trees oh, and some and water thick, started. Thick start. Mm -hmm. Oh, very nice. But I can't wait to reach some animals. Yeah. I love stitching animals. I love that. Yeah, and I too like how she has all little creatures in her. I know. And you the fabric is you? called, sure. The fabric is called, um, it's 40 count seraphim silver lining. So, as soon as I saw fabric. she was releasing those, I was like, oh, I gotta work on mine. Did you see? The other one that she's releasing, um, Spooky Smalls, I think it's called. I know, with all the little, they're like little pillows, and they have all kinds of cute little animals. There's like a little row of cats mm -hmm. that are wearing striped socks. I know, it's really cute. Cats with socks. I feel like she needs to do a whole series of animals wearing striped socks. I'm well, putting that out there, Janine. Yeah, I don't, um, I don't know if you have it. Where's that little... The, the little pillow that you the did dog? with the dog. Doesn't that have socks on it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it's wearing a sweater. Sweater. A yeah. sweater. Yeah. I think animals wearing striped socks need to be the new the yeah. new thing. So, Janine, you probably don't watch this, but if you do... <laughs> hint, hint. I will stitch all the animals in the socks. Just so you know. And then I got one more whip, and then I'm done. Well, you got a lot more in that. I know, but I haven't older. worked on I haven't worked on all of them. Oh, okay. So I won't show them all. But I've been working on magpie. Oh, and the moon. I forgot about that. I Isn't have that so pattern. pretty. It is very pretty. Weren't you doing a sound with Maggie with that? Yes. So yeah. our friend Maggie, Maggie with an I, uh, she picked this as her birthday start last year, last November. And so she stitched it up like right away and made it into an adorable little pillow. Mine has languished and I just love this pattern so much, and I wanted it to. I wanted to get some work on it so that I can yeah, be I ready to you, start her next birthday. I thought start you got with her. you got you got quite a bit done on it. So I've been working on it. 
And this is that same fabric that yeah. I used for the Clover and Hive um, pillows. So it's the Bird's Eye View by Seraphim. It's really pretty. Isn't that cute? Very cute. It's a really pretty fabric. It looks a little washed out in this picture. Yeah. But it, so it's a little more. Um, yeah, it's got like blues and greens yeah. and browns. And I feel like even a little bit of purple in there somewhere. So yeah, that's my last one. So I don't have much more to go. I mean, no, you don't. Gotta finish the bird and do this branch down here. It's not so, it's not so much stitching. No, I'll get it done. It's very pretty. So yeah, that's my last book. Well, you <sighs> really, you can say you had a very successful stitchy summer. I did. I did. Very so, successful. Hopefully that'll tide you guys over for a while because school's starting back up and. I will not be having that much time. I think you'll still <laughs> you'll still come up with some. I do some stuff. Fun. You're on a good roll where you, you know, you've got stuff you're stitching, and then you kind of put it away for the winter, you know, or till that season comes, and then the season rolls around, and then you've got a good start that you're able to get stuff. It's like you're kind of have a little bit of an assembly line going, so you've got stuff I, coming down the pike. I know. I feel I have so many things to stitch, but you know. I know I've been having a hard time lately. I just I've been trying to reorganize my stitchy stuff, mm -hmm. um, just like with patterns. I I actually um, actually so I have an iPhone and um, Susan at Cape Sakes. We we talk about Susan all the time. She actually introduced me to an app on the iPhone and it's X Stitch, right? I've heard of that. Yeah. And um, because I I know there's some other apps that a lot of people use, but they're on Android and. Um, and so I'm I'm all Apple. I have an iPad and iPhone and yeah. MacBook and all that stuff. And um, so I never ever thought that I would ever be in a situation where I would not know if I had a pattern, because I remember when we first or I first started stitching, and someone would say, "Oh, do I have that?" And I'm like, "I cannot believe that you would not know if you had a pattern." And I this happened. Say anything. I know. I have. I purchased a double pattern, first time ever. I I've done it a few it. times. I know I was the recipient of one. That was kind of nice. <laughs> Never know if you'll be. Um, but um, so I have started to try to put stuff in because I've gotten really confused because I've had a list of things. I kind of have gotten into Blackbird and I really want to buy some Blackbird things. She yeah. just re-released the Loose Feathers series. And so I've been making a list of things I want and then I can't remember. I'm like, wait a minute. Do I have that, or did I write that on the list, or, you yeah, know? Yeah, I can see that. So, um, so I've been trying to kind of inventory some things, and oh god, I just want to stitch everything. I know. I just want to stitch everything. So, I I'm trying to. I started with the hands. I was doing a hand today. Then I'm going to do the Chantel piece. And yeah. I'm maybe going to do the smalls. I was just about to ask, are you doing a small? Maybe, maybe. We'll see. I'm not going to stress myself out to do it. Yeah. Um, but there's a lot of cute little things that I think would be really fun to do. Yeah. So we'll see. Um, but I definitely am going to get the class piece finished. Yeah. And so I'm ready. Um, yeah, we need to buckle down. Right? Yeah, that'll be. We've got a month. Yes. Do it. Yes. Because she, Kathy really is a wonderful teacher. And so I don't want to miss an opportunity right. of, Absolutely. you know, learning from her. Because we'll actually be doing the finishing um, in the class. So, um, yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, do you have haul? Do you, are we ready for haul? Yeah. Okay. There's one yeah. part of haul that we both have. Do you want to start yeah. and show that together and then yeah. you can go into your haul? That's great. Okay. That's great. All so right. do you have yours? Oh, I, you know, I don't have everything. I, oh, okay. yeah, I forgot the, I forgot that. <laughs> Do you want to show your um, box? Yes, I will show my box. I'm sorry, I wrote on my box. You're fine. I like to keep my boxes, so I wrote on it. I like the sticker. This is Friend Stitch. Does it say Friend Stitch? Uh, it should on the sticker there, right? It says no peeking oh. until August 5th. Gotcha. Yeah, so we did the Friend Stitch Halloween pop-up um, retreat over the weekend. And that is a... Um, uh, Collaboration? Thank you. Couldn't think of the word. With... Uh, Cecilia Turner with Hands On Design and Heart um, and Hand. Heart and Hand. I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Thank you for correcting me. I get those two mixed up. Heart and Hand. And I and I know Cecilia. Um, Heart and Hand. And then also uh, Maureen with um, Bent Creek. So um, so they. This is 
I know I've missed a couple friend stitches and I did one last year. So this is my second friend stitch. This one my first. I know. Mm -hmm. What did you think? I liked it. I'm not a Zoom person, so like I know being on Zoom for that many hours, I was just like, oh I just being a teacher during the pandemic, I hate Zoom. I hate Zoom. Yeah, I can see that. So, but, but I got a ton fun. of finishes done during the Zoom. So I just had the Zoom on in the background, and I was doing finishing. So it worked Sorry. out. It worked out great. But we got this awesome box, and we opened it all together on the yes. Zoom. We weren't and supposed it was to open. Really oh, I guess fun. I maybe took yeah, you put everything yeah. back together, didn't you? Yeah. So when you opened the box, I'll show mine since it's yeah, because mine's all torn up. Um, when you opened the box, this is what you saw. And this little thing in the middle is a very nice coaster. Yeah, so cute. And then underneath was a bag. Yeah, we had a little tote bag. So cute. Look at how cute. You can never have enough tote bags. No, uh-uh. And this is really lightweight, which is nice. Like if you're going into the stitch stitchy store and like I'll have a list sometimes mm -hmm. or a couple patterns I want to get fabric for and I don't need to carry a big yeah a big bag so this is great it's like nice and lightweight i really like so that cute. Oops. yes very soon. nice so um so we opened we opened it and then we and saw it was fun because everything was in the tote bag and we like dumped it all out like oh there's a bunch of yeah i don't have that in here but there's a bunch of candy you know oh, it was like confetti sugar. and stuff it was yeah. like a little like surprise in a bag you just yeah dumped it all out. yeah so that was the first thing we did so we all did it together on zoom which was yeah. fun and i just had a bunch of cute stuff yeah i didn't put my pumpkin yeah. together but look little... how cute I forget what these were called. I know. There was a word for it. I didn't know there was a word for it until they either. said the word. So we had a cute little pumpkin decoration. Yeah. What else you got in there? Um, candy. candy. Lots of candy. Oh, do you, did you see these cute little yes. these cute little pins? Yeah, some and, people were putting them on their tote bag. Yeah, which was adorable. So those are super cute. I'm sorry for the glare there. And the pins, well, the one has the Friend Stitch logo on it. Yes, the little house with the heart is the Friend Stitch logo. And the other two have two of the um, designs that came in the in the box. Yeah. Pictured on them. Yes. Yeah. Then we got a little Friend Stitch, um, like, is this, oh, I don't know pads. if that's sticky notes. It's not sticky notes, it's just a notepad. But it's cute. I and it's a nice notepads. size. Yeah. I like that it's like a little wider and a little uh -huh. bigger. Yeah. Oh, did you get your? Okay, oh. this was. I didn't really. I didn't have this as a child. And yeah, I know. I was like, what is this? Week. Yeah. It close your ears. It's a clicker. Oh, okay. I didn't know how to do it. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we won't do it because people will probably sorry. Get but it's a clicker. But did any of you guys have these in your when you were trick or treating? I had never seen that. No, before. Mm -hmm. I don't remember this at all. Um. Yeah. So, and then we got, so yeah, well, do you want to oh, show? Oh, do I show the patterns? Yeah, so we got patterns. So we had, we had to open this in a certain order. Yeah. So there was a guest designer. Oh, um, I'm just so sorry. There was. Yeah. Yeah. There was a guest designer. Well, the patterns Amy are on. <laughs> and so she designed a pattern specifically for a friend stitch. So it was this. What's it called? Midnight. Or excuse, excuse me, Moonlight Magic. So it's this cute no, you were right. Midnight Magic. Oh, Didn't that say Midnight? That's weird. On the front here it says Moonlight Magic, and on the back it says Moonlight oh. Magic. That is weird. Huh? Well, it's moonlight, the Moonlight Midnight, midnight Magic. magic. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so cute. Look at how cute that is. And it comes with a. I won't show the back because it's got the the pattern, but it comes with a little yellow star that button. you can put mm -hmm. on your witch or somewhere else if you want. Yeah. We also got. Oh, and I, I wanted to say too, because I got it and you didn't, but oh, yeah. you could order, you could, if you, you could order your fabric separately. So they didn't include it. They just said in the past, you know, people have such different preferences yeah, that you could order sense. it. So they had, I believe it was a 14 or a 16 count you could order. And then they had a linen, a 32 linen. Um, so I did order fabric and Sarah didn't yeah to her surprise <laughs> well, but I, you would change it anyway yeah i would have changed it anyway yeah. i just didn't remember i mean i how well you did probably we didn't buy it on purpose because yeah, you knew you wanted I know to change, change it. it yeah oh are we ready for this one? yeah so this was our next one that we got look at how cute that is yeah so this is actually a collaboration um design 
by Cecilia Turner of uh, Heart and Hand and the Bent Creek Girls. And so it was really fun because they talked in the video about their um, process for designing yes. kind of like what idea are we starting with? And then they showed us all the different iterations of, of how the design came to be. Like it was really cool to see because you yes. have, you know, that would be hard to, to collaborate with somebody and create, you know, a cohesive design, but they did a great job and it turned out so cute. I love the little ghost pulling oh, the cat I, in the I wagon down there. Look at that. There are I so. I just want to do that as a small. And there are so, like, the more you look at this, there are so many cute things. Like, there's a little, there's a little owl on the broom up here. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, here's a little bat. And this little thing is, oh, a spider. Mm -hmm. I love that little spider. Just so many cute things. And so it was really cool because they had all these characters and they originally started off like in a big line. Yeah, because they wanted to make it horizontal. Yes. Because they said those their, their horizontal pieces are usually more popular, but the design just didn't quite work that way and, and it ended up being a vertical design because that's just what worked best for it you know and i think the placement is adorable i think it's so cute really cute like really, really cute how it process. yeah and yeah because i tiny little beads yes. and little um charms and a little button for it so yes yep. so cute and i did order the fabric i ordered a 32 count and this is enough fabric to do um the the, the two designs that we just showed and this is 32 count stormy night vintage. Sorry, I didn't take it out of the paper. A little showing up a little more saturated than it is, but it's like a bluish gray. It's very pretty. It's modeled, but it's not like really noticeable modeling. Actually, that's just for the main design because the other fabric we got was for the witch and the little crow. Oh, okay, right. Yes. Okay, so we had. Do we want to show, wait, was this in the, this was in this. I'm getting confused. Was there a separate one in here? There was, there was a little like um, this one practice piece. This. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. I'll give you the lens. Yeah. What pattern was in here? Yeah. yeah. The crow. So then we had this and it says the crow and we weren't, it's a little bag and we weren't allowed to open it. But then when we opened it, yeah, I got confused. Look at how cute. Is. Our friend Allison, Alley Cat 13, she already stitched it yeah. and put it in the little hoop already. She's crazy. Actually, there is, and I don't know if you joined it, but there is a uh, Facebook group for the people that were in Friend Stitch, and it's only yeah. up for like a week, and um, and it just just went live, and people yeah have already finished. Oh yeah, tons of people have finished this, and I mean, and I have seen. A adorable finishes yeah little pillows oh my gosh yeah. and so they gave us I mean, do you want to get yours since i don't have i don't want to rattle this? my my thing oh but like if you oh, oh yeah, yeah 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 so they gave you the the linen for it so they said that the witch and the crow could both fit on that and then they sent you and i think it's just a 28 count flax yeah mm -hmm. they sent you a wooden hoop for the finishing and then the really cool thing I was know. they sent you a hoop back so like after you put your finish in here, you put that in the back and that kind of just holds your finish in there. And it's just a decorative It has the little the friend back. stitch logo. Yeah. I think it's just really cute. Yeah, it's a cute idea. Very cute idea. And they sent us all the floss we need oh, to stitch all of those. Look how pretty all these flosses are. So they are. all have the same um, color palette. Yes. And so they're all classic color works and they sent us enough to do all three designs which I thought was really cool. You know, it's nice because this is a fully complete box. Yeah. And I was going to say yeah. they did a little um, learning tutorial. So they taught um, some stitching, some different like specialty stitches. Yeah. And then they also taught how to finish um, this hoop. Yeah. Um, and, you know, how to put the hoops together and, you know, sew on the back of it and kind of gather it together. It was a great tutorial. Yeah. I, I learned a lot the last time and the first time I took yeah I took the class um and it was cool too because they there um there are a couple little specialty stitches in there that they they gave us a tutorial about and it was just a really it's very well done yeah and they had adorable 
you know, a big, nice background. And, you know, we got to kind of see some angles with like their whole camera crew. Cause mm -hmm. it's really just friends and family that are, you know, and, and it was quite Cecilia, a high tech endeavor. And, for yeah. Sure. And, um, so they had different stations and, mm -hmm. you know, kind of like they were, you know, like presenting to, you yeah. know, on a television show. It yeah, was really, it was really cool. It was, it was really cool. So don't expect anything like that on here. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, they had a whole the whole set. Oh, yeah, you know? a whole set. So um, it was fun. It was really fun. What else you got? There, oh, lady? okay. Let's, let's, yes. finish. let's keep going with this. Okay, haul. yes. Let's get going here. Um, you know what? I can't remember. I will. I'll just not show that. Show it. Okay, I'll show it. You will show it. I just want, have girl. to. I have to. Uh, so this was a little freebie that we got for friend stitch. Um, it wasn't a pre-stitch. It was just a little freebie. Mm -hmm. And I think it's adorable. And I am telling you, the people have finished this. And the finishing is so cute. You know, it's so neat to see a piece. And some people, like I saw this one lady finished it like a candy roll. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, my gosh. And then one, then she did, like, one on black fabric and one on green fabric. And just, just even the different fabric choices yeah. made it look different. Then somebody did a pillow, so it looked totally different. Yeah. So it is really neat to see you could take one pattern and yeah. just by finishing and changing your colors or your fabric, you know, it looks totally it's a different. It's totally different piece, yeah. So I would People like to so stitch creative. that. And they are so creative. That's why I love Instagram. Mm -hmm. You know, I just love the eye candy and Absolutely. all the pictures. And, and um, it makes you want to stitch all the things. I know. Do we show this? I don't think we did. Okay, so Sarah and I are both in this club. This is called Life is Just a Full Love, um, and it's cross stitch. And every month there's a new, uh, a new stitch, and then we get the little cute things in the bowl. And we also got the bowl. Our, both Sarah and I got a white bowl. You can get a brown bowl or a white bowl. And usually Sarah has all of these finished every time. I. But maybe she's fallen behind with the 13 other finishes that she did. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Uh, but this is my pine needle, and it's a great little club. I really enjoyed it. It's not a ton of stitch. It kind like, actually, the fabric, um, they send you everything. So this is the fabric for the wool. It's already sewed together for you. So, um, you know, we just have it to, like, it real easy roll to, it up and finish, finish it. it. Uh -huh. Yeah, thank you. I have everything sliding off of me here. Um, so it's a cute little kit and it's not, it's not super expensive. No. I don't know if you can join this year, but I think like each year, my, Allison's been in it before and like each year she does kind of a different, um, you know, a different setup. Yeah. So, um, so I think I mentioned earlier, I'm on my Blackbird quest. I just really have gotten into Blackbird and I loved this. I saw this on Instagram. This is, it's so pretty. uh, this is just Blackbird. Blackbird so, by Blackbird. Yeah, so I really liked it. I don't know. I Sarah's piece that she just finished with the orange pumpkin just like reminds me of this, like the colors and so you can I don't even just do like the the flowers a different color. I know. I was try, I was thinking if, or the vase if I could do something like yeah. you did and do it a different color because I think that's really cute. And I did I did purchase the because I thought oh I could do it in any color, but I did purchase the same color that's on there. Do you want me to save this and we'll show it together? Yeah. Okay. Save that one. Um, oh, I did get this. This was on um, Brenda and Laura. And um, of course, it's an exclusive and you know, not an exclusive, but it's um it's it's by Hobby House. And so it's a release that's gonna happen, but they're releasing it in different parts. And so the first thing they released is this drum, and um it's the Mary Al. I'm sorry, sorry, I don't have my glasses. Thank you. Alcorn 1764 Sampler Series. So the first thing that's been released is this drum. And it's by Hobby House. And I just thought it was really pretty. Very pretty. And so um, I just got online at Hobby House and I ordered the kit. So it came with the fabric. And it came with this cute, look at this cute little bag. This was unexpected, but cute. It oh, came with that little cute pouch. little... Yeah, Hobby House bag, and then the flosses are inside. Nice. Um, and it came with the fabric. I haven't started it yet, but I just thought it was, I thought it was cute. So yeah. I got that. And um, actually, I have a lot of kits that I'm just going to show. Oops, sorry. It's a mini kit parade. It is a mini kit parade. I haven't started anything yet, but um, I, um, I'm i glad I finally ordered some kits because that's also part of my problem. I get something done, and then... 
Like, what do I do to finish it? Um, so I'm still kind of working on my creativity in that regard. So this is cute. This was a release by Brenda Gervais, not like in the last month or two, but recent. Yeah. Um, and this is a girl in her garden and I just loved it. It's a, it's finishes in a drum. And I actually ordered a kit from Farm Girl Dry Goods. She has a bunch of Brenda Gervais kits when um, like she comes out with new designs. There's yeah. many of her patterns that she'll do a full kit. And like this has, um, you know, all the materials to finish this. Um, and it also has a little waxer in there. I can't show you because it has the pattern, but. Um, so I'm excited to do that. I'm excited to do a drum. Although I don't know that I'll be finishing the drum after my 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 drum lesson. Um, I thought this was really pretty. This is, um, sorry, Daisy's hitting the camera again. <laughs> you keep talking. This is uh, uh, Margarita, is that how you pronounce it? That's what it looks like. Um, Schroffer? Schroffer? Yes, and this is a reproduction adaptation. This is by Jeanette Douglas, and I just thought that was so pretty. And I actually think Liz, um, Elizabeth Ann can stitch, um, is doing this. Is she? I think she's doing this. I think I saw her with this. If not, it's a design that is this orientation. <laughs> But I think I saw her doing it. So it's not a kit, it's just a pattern. Um, also, I think I mentioned when I went to the Silver Needle, I kitted up some things. I don't think I showed this, did I? I don't think you did. Um, I wanted to, I, there were two things I didn't show. Uh, this has been a project that I have wanted for a long time. It's another Brenda Gervais, and it's the Tree of Life sampler. And I just think it is really pretty. And I'm going to stitch it exactly like it's called for. So I bought the exact same flosses. I like bright things, so I usually like to brighten yeah. things up, but I just think this is so pretty. So I'm I excited to that stitch that. Yeah, I, I saw it and I just like the colors and it's, you know, got little people and um, I can't, a bird and, you know, bunny rabbits up here. And I just, I just think it's really cute. So I liked that. I have it, um, I put it together, kitted it up. And what about this one in front of you? Oh gosh, thank you. Um, yes. So another thing I got at um, um, Silver Needle. Thank you. At Silver Needle is I've never seen this before, and I fell in love with it. They had a sample. They had so many samples there, and I fell in love with it. It was enormous. I'm sorry. I should have taken this out. Sorry, sorry for the crinkle here. But look at this. This is Bluebirds and Bluebells by um, Pansy Patch Quilts and Stitching. I just, the, the model was gorgeous. So pretty. I just loved it. Loved it. It was huge. But look at all the little people and oh, the animals. Yeah. And I just loved the gardens and the reference to birds and... Um, and it says, bluebirds and bluebells fill a garden with joy, and love fills a home with happiness. That's and so I, sweet. I know. So What's the stitch count on this? Oh, it's ginormous. But It's not. It's 128 by 128. Well, no. Oh, so, just kidding. That's the scissor case. Yeah, <laughs> so they, they give you, on the back here, they give you four different God, ways that yeah. you can do this. If you do the big it's one. 251 by 331. That's yeah. new. But they had... Um, a little pillow done gotcha. with like a row. And so I probably will start with something with that. Yeah. But if you can, look at these colors. This is the called for fabric marbled pointer. I oh, it's... I love marbled pointer, extra design. Yes, yes, it's a really pretty fabric. And look at those colors. It's pretty lame, I'm showing them through the bag, but they're really <laughs> pretty. So I'm very excited to um, start that. Very nice. Yes, and I'm just gonna show two more, well no, three more, four more things. Just um, four, no more than Okay, that. sorry. I have to show this. So I believe her name is pronounced Bari. And if it's not, I hope Bari, you will correct me. Um, she has Stitch Folk and she has um, just started to um, have a whole bunch of things in her shop that you can buy t-shirts and she's adding sweatshirts and long sleeve shirts. And they're so cute. They have all these different sayings. And I loved this red one and it says Floss Queen. And so I bought it. That's pretty. I think it's so cute. It looks soft. It does. Uh, it is. It is. Yeah. 
it's really, it's really cute. So she has ones that say sampler and all different things on it. So I thought that was really cute. And she has an Etsy shop, um, Stitch Folk, and you could buy it. Um, and actually, here is a bag from her that I got. Um, oh, that's pretty. She did these tomato bags last year, like a different version yeah. of them. And I loved it. And so I, I got another one this year. But I love, I just, I love the tomatoes. That's a nice touch. And the fun little fobby thing. And, mm -hmm. um, and then I wanted to show like two more things. So, oh. uh, yeah, I'm in Liz Matthews Patreon. Um, I'm also in Teresa Kogut's. I haven't printed stuff out, but this is Liz's and I think it's great. Look at this. Boo Spoo Haunt. That is cute. And so these are the exact same patterns with the exact same colors, just on different, different fabric. fabric. That's awesome. I just thought it was really I like cute. It darker fabric. I do too. I do too. I think I think a lot of people were voting for the darker fabric. Mm -hmm. um, it makes it look more spooky. Yes. And then one more thing I was going to talk about, um, and it's about Nicole Spore. So um, Nicole is she does different stitch alongs. And if you watch her videos, she takes you through the whole thing and then she does this fabulous finish. And um, so she is doing a stitch along, I believe, I don't have all my dates, but I believe it starts August 16th. So there's still time to get your supplies. I actually need to get my fabric and I, I meant to grab it. Um, it's called Flying Lessons and it's by Silver Creek Samplers. And you can buy this on the Fat Quarter Shop. I believe they have some in stock. Chantel 141 um, has done a really adorable wooden like pole finishing with a sign hanging. And she's That's gonna cool. make that sign um, like changeable. So she's gonna do one like oh, for nice. Christmas. And so yeah, so if you, it, you know, it's an investment to get the, the, the piece, yeah. but then you can be changing Change out the mm -hmm. sign. Um, so, I, um, I've been working on it. I'm sorry, I forgot it. I was going to do mine on purple. Yes. And do, um, it might keep the, the. Look at you changing fabric I colors. know. I'm like, I know. Hold on to your, <laughs> hold, hold on, on to your, your seat. <laughs> exactly. So we'll see. The last time I did that, it was hideous and <laughs> I was whatever. But anyway, um, so I started pulling a few, a few things. I'm going to do like some you know, fun green and, yeah. you know, orange and, um, I think that'll be fun. Yeah. So I'm excited. So I need to get that pulled together because I really would like to stay on it. Yeah. Um, but Nicole Spore has a whole, um, floss tube video on, on the sale and, um, Chantel had some kits and, and, um, I'm not sure if there's any kits left. It was selling out like crazy and, um, that quarter had to order more and Chantel ordered more. So I'm pretty sure you can still get it or they'll be ordering yeah. more. Cause it's not a new pattern. No, it it's like, not. What, last year? Um, yeah, uh, actually it would probably say, wouldn't it? Doesn't it say? Oh. It should say on there somewhere. Oh, to, oh no, no, that's, I'm not sure. It is not a new pattern. I don't even know if it's from last year. Um, it might be a little while. Yeah, so, it's not new, so it shouldn't be too hard to get your hands on. Yes, um, and uh, but Nicole's video was great. She was already talking about ideas for finishing, and she gave resources and places you could go. And oh, that's cool. Yeah, different ideas, and so you know, you kind of have to get that stuff now because I know yeah. when I watch things, um, you know, it's it's already all sold out. You know, Halloween right. or whatever. So yeah. So yeah, okay, so that's it, except for one thing I think we're gonna talk about together. And my gosh, we're like going on and on, sorry. That's okay. It's getting a little, okay. All right, so we actually went to um, our LNS last weekend, um, mm -hmm. Keepsakes, to Stitch. I haven't been able to go there for a long time. We I used know. to go every Friday, and it's just been a busy summer. And of course, with school starting, I, I won't be able to go back. So I know. at least we got one time in. It was fun. It was fun. So we went and, and uh, we met up with a couple of our friends there and we just sat and stitched. Got to talk to Stephanie from Just Keep Stitching because she works there. I know she was able to sit at the table with us. Usually yeah. she's in the back room. She's, she's so busy. busy, but it was really fun to visit with Steph. She's yeah. a lot of fun. And Susan was there and we yes. had a really fun time. It was fun. So when you go to Keepsakes, there's models everywhere. And I swear, Oh, it has been a while since I've been there, but I swear every time I go, I see something new. Oh, absolutely. And we were sitting at the table and I was just transfixed. <laughs> she was. I was well, first of all, we were driving there and she gets in the car and she's like, I am not buying anything. Nothing. Nothing. I didn't else. buy much. I was proud of myself, but I was transfixed by this model on the wall and it was this pattern. 
the Nutcracker by Twin Peak Primitives. And this this model was the one hanging up in keepsakes. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. I mean, the picture doesn't do it justice. No, the colors are very vibrant. So vibrant. And I, I have a thing for the Nutcracker. I collect Nutcrackers, so I, was a, I have a very extensive Nutcracker collection that I pull out every Christmas. And um, also kind of a personal connection. My daughter, uh, she was a dancer when she was younger. I mean, all through high school um, until she was a senior. But she actually danced in the um, Nutcracker at down at the Aronoff Center down like in Cincinnati, the, like the professional, right? The professional Cincinnati, production. Cincinnati Ballet. They actually opened it up to dancers outside of the Cincinnati Ballet, ch child dancers, and so she had to audition and everything. Mm -hmm. So we were just over the moon when she made it into the show. She was eleven, um, and she got she was very small, and they kind of. Not only do they pick you for your talent, but they also pick you for your size. Yeah. And so she was the right size to be a cupcake. <laughs> yeah, that's so cute. So she and the other little cupcakes tiptoed out and pranced around the uh, Sugar Plum Fairy when she came out on stage. Oh, so fun. it was it was a lot of practicing and a lot of rehearsals for just some prancing around, but it was yeah. so fun. And so I'm just obsessed with the Nutcracker even more now. So we kitted this up while we were at Keith We State. did. Sarah, Sarah went upstairs and she was grabbing the floss and I said, oh, can you? And she's like, yep, I'll get it for yep. you. I <laughs> Sorry, I just bumped the camera. Finish my, my sentence. I did choose my fabric. I chose I, mine too. I'm going to do it on 36 count and this is not the called for, but I love it. I'm stitching the Any Town Tiny Town on it and this is Shrekies Tan. Ooh, needle bling design. Yes, and Teresa it has needle bling design, and she is she is so funny. She's a really nice lady. Yeah, I got to meet her at StitchCon. She was very sweet. yes. Oh, that's right. Yes, and mm -hmm. so this is her fabric, and um, it's a it's a fabulous neutral, um, but it's got a lot of movement or color in it. Oh, now, our oh, friend nice. Susan at Keepsakes, she was the one who did the color conversion for this pattern. Yes, and look at those colors. Gorgeous. There's a purple. Get it, yeah, get not... that purple out there. The gold and the purple. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. The purple wants to hide. It doesn't want to come out and show you how beautiful it is. But you already got your. Oh wow, you've already got yours on. I got jobs. I got my. Um, I pulled this fabric oh, out. Nice. This is uh, yeah. needle and flax forty six count oh. thornfield. So I, I like thornfield. Really... That'll be very pretty. Yeah. It's really similar to Shrekie's tan. Just a little bit. It's a little lighter, I think. Mm hmm. That's very I thought pretty. it looked a lot like the color of the yes. fabric on here. So I'm really excited. I, although I don't know that I'm going to stitch the whole thing. Yeah, we kind of talked about picking it apart a little bit. Yeah, I I know I want to stitch. I wanted to say the Nutcracker, and I want to stitch the, the Nutcracker and the, and the Mouse King having their little duel here. And I do think I want to do a couple of the other little elements as ornaments. Definitely Clara and her Nutcracker. I want to do her as an ornament. So there's just so many cute little things that you could pull out and do. Yeah. So. And I like the queen here. Yeah. With her big dress. Yeah. So I, I definitely want to pull that apart and, and just stitch some elements. I don't think I want to do the whole big thing. And I love the colors. For me because usually I want to yeah. stitch the biggest thing I know. Ever, I know. So. But you know when you have so many big things. Yes. It gets to be a lot. Yeah. Okay, do you I, have more to show? I do. Okay. This is my haul. I don't have a lot, so that's good. Um, I grabbed this also while we were at Keepsakes. Oh. This is Brenda Gervais Summer School House um, Lessons. A beautiful series. Ab Abecedarian? Ab I'm going to let you say I that. Know. I never know how to I say it I think you right. said it right. But this is lesson number one, so there's um, like four different patterns that go all go four or five, I don't know. But yeah. they have the the alphabet on them and I wanted to st I've been wanting to stitch this for a while anyways but um our friend Kim was picking up finishes for someone else um, oh my gosh and she stitched them all over one on 28 count 20 or 25 count, count. so tiny and, and they so were beautiful. beautiful I, I mean they yeah. were beautiful beautiful so I was like okay I'm gonna stitch that I have that series and I have and I got this in the mail. It. Did you get oh, this? Oh, no, I haven't gotten my September yet. Yeah, oh, so our September. That's fun to see. Life is just a bowl. Yeah. Cross stitch. So there's that. I haven't even taken it out of the package yet, but it oh, always I like comes the finishing with a little. Fabric. It looks very September-y. Oh, yeah, for sure. So I haven't gotten September. mine yet. I got it yesterday, I think. Did you so really? So yours should be coming. Yeah. Um, It's kind of boring, but I grabbed a couple it's pieces okay. of fabric when we were at... 
keepsakes, couple of neutrals. I love, this is one of my favorite neutrals. It's Rocky Mountain by um, it's S. It's a pretty Design. color. Yeah. Did you get a higher count or something? What is that, 46? No, it's, yeah, oh yeah, it's 46. 46. And this is a 46 um, Mystic Fabric in the color Olympia, which is pretty That's similar. A, just yeah. a little more modeling to it. It's a nice fabric. Yeah. Both of those are. I also have got, let's see. Oh, I got this the day after, the day we filmed our last video. <gasps> oh, I got mine too. I love that color. Isn't it's it gorgeous. It's our Fiberlicious Fabric of the Month in the color Dragon Tears. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm going to find something really nice to stitch on that. Yeah. I love that beautiful. fabric. Are you getting 46 count? No. Oh. Does that say 46? It does. Wow. <laughs> Apparently I am. Yeah. All right. I got um, a couple of project bags. Oh, how pretty. Painted Leaf Coat was their most recent one. What? Well, I missed that. How did I miss that one? I don't know. Gosh darn. That is adorable. Is oh, look how cute. Look at the fun. Oh my gosh. Your so mom does. Cute. Her her painted leaf coat is her mom and her name is Kathy. And um, that is so cute. And the little lace on it. That is cute. Let me pull this out. That wasn't your mom, was it? Did no. I that one? That's adorable. Oh, on. has, I didn't even take this off yet. Oh, well. I literally just got this in the mail yesterday, I want to say. Okay, I don't even have this taken off. I'll have to cut it. But this is a bag from Vintage Owl Lady. Look oh, my it. gosh. I'm going to go buy that cupcakes. bag. cupcakes. I've got to get that bag. Look, I love adorable. the little pom-pom trim here. That is so cute. Yeah, the, the charm is wrapped in plastic, so I can't see it yet. I'm gonna, it's taped up pretty good, so I'm gonna have to. Oh cut my that gosh, off. I love. I hope she has more in the shop. She go puts get like one bag it. in the shop a day, and oh. it drives me insane. Oh, vintage owl lady. Yes. Yeah. I. I think yeah. I'm right. like always like stalking her yeah. shop. Shoot. Yeah. That's adorable. And then this, the bag isn't new, but what's inside of it is. Oh. So this is actually not a new pattern, but it was oh new my, to what me. Is that? It's Kathy Barrett's <gasps> Strawberry Blossoms. I've never seen that before. I had never seen it wow, either. Wow, that's what? beautiful. Let's see what year this was. Did you say it's on the not. It doesn't. On the back? Uh -huh. No. No. It's not, I think, I think it's like 2018 or something. I've never seen thinking. that. It's I had so never pretty. seen it um, until I was on Instagram. Instagram is where I get in trouble. And I, I saw someone stitching this. Her name was Sandy. I'm not sure if I can oh, share wow. her, her Instagram because I didn't ask her. But she was stitching this, but she had changed the color palette. And it was amazing. So oh, the, instead wow. of the girl um, having the blue and brown dress, she changed it to a green dress, and she warmed up the girl's skin tone. Oh, my goodness. And I messaged her, and I was like, can I please Did have you? your color conversion? And she was very gracious and gave it to me. Oh, wow. And so I have kitted this up, and I want to start it soon. Sorry, my flosses are always a hot mess. Let me brush my floss. Okay. Are those DMC? They yep. look silky. They're all DMC. Oh. They're beautiful. <gasps> oh, my god. I had on bobbins, so that's why they're all, like, crimpy looking but they're beautiful aren't they pretty and that fabric is really pretty what fabric the is fabric that? is marbled bunny by um is she stitching Extra hers Design. on marbled bunny no she i forget what she said she was stitching it on but this is what but i those had. look great on that it's gonna be so pretty but she changed the blues to greens oh i love it so i don't know when i'm starting it but after seeing her picture i was like oh, oh, i gotta stitch beautiful. that in the same colors yes so and like the strawberries are on here are blue. I'm gonna do them in the red colors. Like some of them are red and some of them are blue. Oh, are, are those strawberries weird. the blue ones? Or yeah. blueberry? Or leaves? Those are strawberries. These are those leaves? Yeah. Those are strawberries. No. Oh, I guess they are strawberries. Yeah. Huh. I don't want blue strawberries, so they're yeah. gonna be red. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. But that was so kind of Sandy to say, to uh, share her, yes. her color conversion with me. So I'm excited about that one. I don't know when I'll start it, but yeah. It's ready when I do. And that's it. Okay. That is it. Whew. I thought this was going to be really quick. I know. It's <laughs> not even been two weeks. Well, you had lots of finishes. finishes to show. Well, I'll yeah. have less things to show next time, so. That's okay. 
it's fun to see all the finishes. <clears throat> Once school starts out, I won't be doing as many as many things, but I'll still be stitching. Oh so. yeah, you still stitch a ton. I mean, you 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 stitch a ton. That's my favorite thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> if I could just quit my job and I, I would like quit that. doing housework yeah. and cooking and cleaning and yeah. If I, if someone, can someone just pay me to sit home and stitch all day? I think many Find of that. us would like that job. <laughs> All right. Well, that's it for me. You got any plans for the week? Anything you're going to focus on? Um, well, um, I would be taking my son to the oral surgeon every day for oh. his tooth. And um, I actually have a lot going on this week, just appointments and things to yeah. do. And um, so I'm going to be busy doing that. I'm going to be busy stitching the rest of those hands and get those to Sarah. You've got two left, right? I have two left. Okay. Which one is yours? So... Yeah, and um, yeah, that's 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 about it. Okay. I'm in the guild, and there is a um, a guild Saturday stitch this weekend, and so I've never been able to go. It's like a day stitch, and unfortunately, Sarah can't go. But no, I might I get might my hair done go. and going on my husband's. Yeah, so. well, that'll be fun. <laughs> I got a hot go. date. Well, you're getting your classroom ready. Yeah, you so. have to be there on Thursday mm -hmm. and having a party for Maggie. Yeah, so. I got stuff to do. Yeah. Got stuff to do. But in between, hopefully I can get some good stitching and yeah. we'll see. Sure. So hopefully we can stick with our plan to do every other week. Yes. Where our goal is to, uh, we'll have to relook. Um, I don't know what Rocco's hockey schedule will be this year. Um, his official season hasn't started yet. But we we were trying to do Tuesday. So hopefully yeah. we'll, we'll keep Well, if Tuesdays. Tuesdays don't work, we'll find another day that does. Yeah. But we want to make sure that we're... We're still trying to be regular on here and, and still keep bringing content because it is hard when we have a long span in between yeah. videos. There's just so many things to show and it can become a little overwhelming. So I like doing it every two weeks if, yeah. we, can, if we can make it happen. So. Yes. So yeah. All right, friends. Well, hopefully you have a great week. Hopefully you can get two weeks or however long it is till we see you again. Hopefully you can get some good stitching in and um, let us know what you're up to and what you're stitching. That would be great. Below. Yeah. All right. Bye, Bye guys. guys.